Well, I'm a biological anthropologist, and um, I use DNA evidence, both ancient DNA and modern DNA variation uh, in Pacific, generally Pacific populations, to try to understand not only population origins, but population diversity, and how different people and different groups of people adapted to the new environments that they encountered. So I look at DNA evidence, and I look at ancient DNA that we can extract from skeletal remains or bone and tooth remains from burials, and I look at, at genetic variation in modern populations. So we have a major project going on right now um, at the site of Warabar, which is one of New Zealand's most important archaeological sites, and the site where uh, at least 42 individuals were buried uh, about 730 uh, years ago. Um, and then we've had the opportunity in working with Rangitane, the local uh, descent community that live here, um, to find out, to do the DNA analysis with them and look at, uh, be able to compare the DNA that we've taken from people living today, which we can just take from a quick cheek, cheek swab, um, to compare that DNA to the DNA of, of their tupuna, of their ancestors from the site of Warabar. Um, we can see there are certain diseases that we see today um, ha affect Maori and Pacific people at much higher frequency than Europeans, for example, and we want to understand was that uh, genetic predisposition or are they carrying genetic markers that may be linked to those diseases in, in, in the original populations that came here, or were these changes uh, the result of, of um, adapting to a different, a different diet, uh, Western lifestyle, those kinds of things that often are associated with the diseases. In suffering from something like gout, uh, perhaps they didn't die from malaria. So there may have been an advantage. We think that there may have been some selective advantage for some of these diseases that we would define as diseases today that actually allowed people to survive in the past. So that has a very different kind of uh, um, an impact on people as opposed to you're just eating the wrong foods and not exercising enough. You know, so there's a link to the past, there's a link to this actually perhaps having been um, something that was advantageous in the past, but given modern um, environmental conditions is no longer um, advantageous and, and it, 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 we consider it to be a disease.